As you can tell, it's like the middle of January and around about six months ago, I filmed or I went on a little trip um, with my friend Nick to Napa. And I did film, I think almost every single day. And I thought I would make it into a small little story. So um, let's rewind back six months ago, 2018, summertime. And yeah, let's go. I feel like, I feel like I need a holiday. Just, just a quick one week holiday. Nick, do you want to go on a holiday? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, do you want to, do, should I, should we, I'll go to your house in like half an hour? Just go to Heathrow and just, just, just book a flight, yeah? Should, should we just book a flight? Yeah, hold on, give me, give me 30 minutes and, and I'll be there. Okay, cool. Why do you look so tired, man? I don't know. You know when you just do nothing all day? We, you're that's, packing. That's best we've been here, we've been at the airport for like the whole day now. I know. Just update. Apparently our flight is delayed because something's broken. Hey, the shit in the car, man. Okay, so a quick interlude. I have to say there's going to be a few of these interludes scattered around within the film just to kind of tie things together so the film kind of makes a little bit more sense. So we just landed in Cyprus if that wasn't clear enough. Um, Nick and I were literally just chatting in the plane kind of discussing what we we're going to do when we landed and how we we're going to get to the hotel. Then all of a sudden, I don't understand why, people just started clapping. Just, just started Clapping. You know what's gonna happen? Oh. They're gonna open the door. Yeah. The, the, the heat wave. Oh, it's like. <laughs> Why are we clapping? Why are we clapping? Finally, yeah. Trying to find the hotel, we've actually finally made it. Yeah. We do have a slight situation where, because we're, our flight was a little bit delayed, it means uh, it's basically Tuesday and our check in was obviously yesterday or Monday. And we don't know how to get to our actual hotel. Sure. It's not that bad. So what do we what do we do now? Our situation of getting to our hotel has been solved. We literally just had to call the hotel and book for a taxi shuttle. But it's 1 a.m. in Cyprus on a Tuesday. We're left on a Monday. I just want to get to a room and eat some food. So earlier within the film, I showed me and Nick getting onto plane pretty late. I think we waited about 50, 60 minutes to board the plane. But when we landed in Cyprus, we were just so conked out. We were tired and we were just so out of it. When we got to the hotel, I think we walked around Napa. I think it was around 2 a.m. We enjoyed, we went into a few things, but it was just, we were just so tired that we really just wanted to get back into our beds and just call it for that night. Also, a quick side note, this film, this whole film when I was in Aya Napa, everything was filmed by using a Pixel XL, the very first one, and just a standard iPhone 8. So the video quality probably isn't as great as usual because obviously I'm not using a rig like this or something else but bear with me, it's all about the story, I hope. Let me fast forward to the day after me and Nick were just gonna explore. So I might have left last night as a cliffhanger. One, me and Nick who's in the shower right now. We just wanted to kind of explore and see where we are at the location and two, it was just so much things going on. There was literally no point of me filming that today, but I will film 
more on the video tomorrow. Today it's just more about just the adventure and seeing where everything is, where we can get food, water, everything like that, so we can finally climatize. Had a few hours sleep, got back in bed around 4 a.m., 5 a.m. We're gonna make use of the free breakfast. Well, the breakfast was included within our within our package, so that's Gucci. So the first few days of this trip, Nick and I already knew what we had for our agenda. It was basically to go out as much as we can and just enjoy. And trust me, we drank like absolute animals. At the time when we were going out, you know, I wanted to film just everything. I searched up Ayanapa nightlife and the thing was, everything looked the same. So let me just get like a little capture of what Ayanapa looks like at night or the nightlife sorry because if i did try and film it it would look exactly the same I bought this new bag just so I can carry my stuff and not put it in my pockets. Number two, let me just show you what me and Nick just got. It will blow your mind. This is blowing mine away. What the fuck? <laughs> we got a buggy. Enough of me interrupting the video. Here's just a nice, quick little montage of us sightseeing around Napa. an idea. Why don't we explore west and find that other beach? Huh? Explore west and then find that other beach. Successful few hours at the beach. Would you say Nick? Yeah. I, I think Time to get hydrated. Yeah. Oh, today is literally just explore and ride around. It's fantastic. You don't need to drink all night, be hangover the rest of the day, or you can explore the views like this. We can go higher. I know, we can definitely go higher. Let's just look at this, man. Everyone knows the Cypress or I never. No one ever, ever talks about these type of views. Everyone just talks about, oh, let's go down clubbing, let's go drinking, let's go to the bar, let's go to the club. And yes, fair enough, yes, that's what I never is about. But just look at the views that you're missing out. are okay but this this is just so much better think about cyprus right now especially where we are there's so so much to look at there's just too much to capture it's amazing seven days in Napa. The first few days was kind of just just to experience what Napa was all about 
and the last remaining four days, the main agenda was just to see everything, sightsee and adventure. Because the problem with these kind of holidays is people are too... Uh, they, they would like to say in a comfort zone area. And I don't blame them, it's quite nice. There's a lot of things to do, beaches around the, the actual town centre. But we didn't want to do that. We wanted to explore and venture out outside where people usually go and I wanted to really emphasize that in this video there were so many more places that we can go to there's to be honest there was a lot more things that I, I didn't put in the film because it would just be too long it would literally just be a montage of just the places Nick and I went to but hopefully that should portray the, the thought process of what I'm trying to pursue within this video. There was a little incident when we were coming back from um, a little place that I think it was called the Arch or the Archway. I totally butchered what that thing was called. running on literally low on petrol in our buggy and literally it was turtle necking stuff what happened next because we were literally the gauge was blinking it was telling us literally fill me up for some reason the place that we went to there was a lot of hills a lot of incline so that probably just drained the buggy. So I thought I would drop this in within the video. I remember one night out, me and Nick came home to our little room around about 3, 4 a.m. and as I was about to close the door, you know, we were just gonna get some shut eye. I heard like the people staying across us. She was drunk. Let me just show you the clips that I recorded on Snapchat. So it's vertical, I do have to apologize, but she was off her head. And another story, another night out, it's called Bar 360. Nice little place, nice little place to just kind of have a drink, chat. We met up with two of these girls from, I believe they were from Switzerland. You go there, you buy some drinks, so and so forth. And we thought it would be the funniest idea to get a henna of 360 to represent our time at Bar 360. Because after that night, we kept just meeting at that bar. Those were just one of many things that happened in this holiday. It's one of the moments that I thought, hey, let me just film this real quick. On our last day, me and Nick literally, I think we visited this gift shop, but at the same time, it was just a supermarket. £4.62, our last full day in Napa. Too hot. Main agenda today is to buy snacks and a little bit of gifts. You could tell it was tailored for tourists to buy souvenirs, but I could tell that the locals would also buy stuff from there because there would be groceries, a lot of alcohol. Which one should I go for today? You got citrus, you got mango, you got berries, it's my favourite. 
It was a very sad last day in Napa because the sun was beautiful, the place was beautiful, the people were amazing. We just, it, I felt like we needed to stay at least one or two more days. Then that would be complete for sure.